Building a heads-up display in a contact lens could fundamentally change the way humans perceive and interact with their world. Dr. Parviz and his team are still in the very early stages, but they've made the first steps. This example has one pixel, a small blue dot, powered and controlled by radio waves from the device below. So what we can do today essentially is uh, one pixel on a contact lens that we can reliably control. Off contact lens we've gone up to eight pixels and uh, we've been able to also light up very basic text on a contact lens that's still out of focus. So focus is another issue that uh, we're addressing. For the display to work, its pixels must be shrunk, arranged and focused, and then balanced or programmed to keep a steady image on a rapidly moving eyeball. In other words, many challenges remain. We are very far from high definition uh, display in a contact lens that can show you complete, uh, complete videos. But uh, we are making uh, solid and steady steps towards having, having a complete uh, display. Dr. Parviz's work, along with Dr. Kahane's and others, is promising. Contact lenses will get smarter, but fully fledged displays and medical sensors are still in very early stages. The futurologist Michio Kaku, whom we interviewed earlier in 2011, makes his living by looking at the very long term. And he sees smart lenses becoming as common as smartphones are today. In the next 20 years, the Internet will be in our contact lens. We will simply blink and we will be online. And when I look at you, I will see your biography right next to you because my contact lens will identify who you are. You will always know who you are talking to. And if you speak to me in Chinese, no problem. I see Chinese subtitles translated into English underneath your picture. Are you ready? Kaku's vision may sound broad, but it is based on the very research that is currently going on in labs, like Dr. Parviz's. So if one blue pixel could one day lead to many, what might the world look like behind a computer screen in your eye? We can only speculate. But perhaps something like this. Information from the web could be layered onto almost anything we look at. It will then be up to the smart lens users of the future to determine what is relevant and what to ignore.